Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and do you know what time it is? It's comic book haul time! Comic book haul time! Comic book haul time! Alright, let's get to this haul. Alright, in today's haul, we have a really cool dollar bin, but an online dollar bin haul, which is cool. It's, I think the first time I've done an online dollar bin haul. I have another dollar bin haul from a, a local comic shop. I have some comics for my friend Sean. I have some comic books that my wife and son picked up for me after school one day. Uh, another bag of random comic books I found. Just a lot of ton of fun stuff. All right, let's start going through these comic books. Okay, we have this heavy box of comic books here. I bought these last October. My friend Alex messaged me that Things From Another World was having a dollar sale or a 50% off sale on their comic books. So a lot of these comic books are a dollar. Some were like a dollar fifty, dollar twenty-five. Either way, it's a lot of really fun comic books for an awesome price. All right, let's just dig through this box. Break one. So basically, I was grabbing anything that looked cool that was cheap. Everything was like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. Right. Okay. That's a cool cover. Detective ten twenty-seven. That one. Uh, let me see if I can figure out the pricing on these. Okay, I'm not gonna look up every single price. Overall, I think I paid like a dollar thirty a comic book because some stuff like this with the thick cover, they probably charge two for that, maybe. Ooh, Detective 1027 the art germ cover. That is gorgeous. Yeah, so that was like two bucks. Wow. Oh, and then they had some Carnage Black and White. I love the covers in this series. Oh, they didn't bag and board these, they just had them in a pile. I guess I mean it's a dollar sale, dollar fifty, two dollar sale. Uh, Carnage Black, White, and Blood Lee and Neil cover. That is gorgeous. A, uh, a Dirk Chu cover for Young Justice, number 20. That's a fun cover. Really like that one. Year Zero, number 5. I just thought the cover looked really cool. Uh, X-Men, number 19. A Jen Bartel cover. That one's beautiful. Uh, oh, okay. I accidentally grabbed a couple of those. <laughs> you know what it was? As I was just going through, I was just like... I would re-add stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bought three of those. <laughs> that was a mistake, but I mean, it was a dollar. Uh, X-Men number 18, Peach Momoko cover. That is cool. I think that one was a dollar. Uh, Lee and Hyuk cover to uh, X-Men number two. Beautiful cover for a dollar. Why not? So yeah, you know what it is? I remember when I was trying to check out, it kept on like... It just wasn't working very well. I think I ended up accidentally adding duplicates and I just, I didn't want to spend time trying to remove them because everything kept on like freezing up. So I just figured I'd a dollar, I don't mind because I could throw the extras into my shop for like three bucks and people will eat them up. Uh, Wonder Woman 763, Joshua Middleton cover, love that one. Uh, Wonder Woman 764, not a cover I normally would go after, but for a dollar, I would pull that out of a dollar bin. Wonder Woman 765, same thing. I would, you know, for a dollar, I'd pick that out. Uh, ooh, another beautiful Joshua Middleton cover. This one, I think maybe it wasn't... It might have been like an 80% off sale. So something like this that was $6. It might have been like $1.20 or maybe a little bit more. I forget the exact price, but that is awesome. Uh, we have the Exus Swords variant cover. Cool magic cover. Really like that one. Uh, Exus Swords number 11. Is that the number? I think it's number 11. Another beautiful cover. Love that. Uh, Exus Swords number uh, number 22, I guess. Peach Momoko cover. That is awesome at that price. Uh, so yeah, again, I accidentally got a duplicate. It's one of those things that was freezing up. So I was just trying to check out without uh, things selling out and whatnot. Uh, okay, Joshua Middleton, Wonder Woman 763. Love that cover. A Voyage to the Stars number four. Beautiful Peach Momoko cover. It's kind of like a Star Wars homage. That, oh, I love that one. That one is awesome. We have Vampirella, Red Sonia, number nine. Beautiful cover. Uh, Teen Titans, number 46, a Peach Momoko cover. I think I do have this one already, but that's a beautiful cover. Strange Adventures, number six. Really fun cover. You know, when stuff's a dollar, it's kind of hard to hold back. You just buy anything you want. <laughs> uh, Spider Woman, number 10. Beautiful cover. Uh, Spider Woman, number 10. This really fun, like, Black, white, and red cover. I really like that one a lot. Uh, Spider Woman number 10. A beautiful cover. Okay, let's get into brick number two. And it looks like most of these arrive in decent shape. Uh, okay, we have another brick here. And these are in individual bags. And... No, they're not boarded. They just... 
they would put like six or eight in one bag. Uh, okay, we have Champions Outlaw number one. That's cool. I do love Miss Marvel, so I want to collect everything that she's in. A beautiful David Finch cover. Deceased Planet number four. Love David Finch. His artwork's great. Uh, Deceased Dead Planet number seven. That's a fun cover. Uh, Demon Days, X-Men number one. Beautiful Peach Momoko cover. Love that. And for a dollar or a dollar fifty, what did I pay on that? And it's kind of hard to dig through the whole invoice to figure out what everything is. But as you can see, you know, things are like a dollar, dollar seventy five, dollar seventy five, dollar twenty five, dollar twenty five, two dollars, dollar, dollar, dollar. Awesome prices on this stuff. I honestly, if more online stores had dollar sales like this, I'd probably buy way more comic books. <laughs> I already buy way too many. Uh, Demon Days X Men number one, another beautiful Peach Moko cover. I love that. Wow, those are cool. Uh, Demon Days X Men number one, an art drum cover. That one's awesome. Uh, Doctor Who number one, a beautiful Peach Moko cover. All right, this is another little brick. Uh, another beautiful Lee and Hugh cover of Miss Marvel. Love that one. I think I did just get that one recently. Uh, Captain Marvel number 24. Beautiful cover. Captain Marvel number 21. Uh, Jenny Friesen cover. Love that. Uh, Willow number 3. Jen Bartel cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, and again, I grabbed a couple of those by mistake. Uh, Blade Runner Origins number 2. Beautiful Peach Momoko cover. A lot of Peach Momoko for cheap. This is awesome. Uh, Blade Runner 2029, number three Peach Momoko cover. I think I do have that one already. I'm going to have a few duplicates out of these. Uh, Black Widow, number one. Beautiful cover. I love that one. Uh, let me open up this pack. I think this. Uh, Batman, the Joker Warzone, number one. Looks like a Derek Chu cover. That is beautiful. Harley Quinn, book six. Love that. Harley Quinn, book six, Black Label. Oh, these are both Black Label series. That's a cool cover. I really like that one. I love raining covers. A uh, Black Cat, number four, Jen Bartel cover. That one's beautiful. Uh, oh, got a couple of those. Uh, Black Cat, number four. That one's cute. Kind of more cartoony style, but I still like it. Uh, Black Cat, number four. Beautiful cover. Uh... Black Knight, number one, a Peach Momoko cover. I do like this one, but I don't like it as much as some of her other works because I feel like it's too cropped. I like it more when it's like the full image. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, we have Batgirl 49. This, ah, uh, I forget the artist's name, but I like her work. Every time I see it, I end up buying it and then I don't realize it's the same artist each time. <laughs> it's like, oh, I really love that cover. And then I buy it over and over again. Mirka and Delpho, I believe. Just really cute. I love that. Avengers, A Curse of the Man Thing. That's a fun cover. Avengers, Curse of the Man Thing. Another fun cover. Ascender, number 13. Uh, Lee and Hugh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 72. Love that cover. I do think I just bought those recently, though. But, you know, and it was a dollar. And I think the ones I bought was after this lot. I just hadn't opened it, so I forgot I ordered it. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man, number 61. Awesome black, white, and red cover. Love that. This is, uh, oh, Amazing Spider-Man 850, a blank cover. I'll have to get someone to do some artwork on that. That is awesome. Okay, okay one more pack here to open. Uh, oh, this one looks like it's in kind of rough shape. Yeah, this one is a little beat up, unless that's the way it was supposed to be. Maybe it was printed that way, because it looks like it was printed to be beat up. But we have Adventure Man, number four, Terry Dotson cover. Really awesome cover. Oh, and I think it did the interiors, too. Oh, that's cool. Very nice comic book. Uh, Arrow number 10. I would like to put that series together. Arrow number 11. And, oh, let me flip these. Uh, Trespasser number... Not sure the number. I, I just It looks like a cool sci-fi cover. That's probably why I ordered Oh, it's got like an interesting newsprint inside. That's cool. I'm not very familiar with that. Uh, Agrisuko number 4. That one's neat. And Arrow number 12. All right, let's see. Oh, I got another. Oh, <laughs> two more bricks. In. Wow, I bought a lot of comic books from them. Uh, at this price, it's just like you can't can't go wrong. 
Okay, so we have uh, Future State Mortal Wonder Woman number one Peach Momoko cover. Absolutely love this cover. No, it should be a wraparound. I feel like there should be more image, but I love it. I do have this one already, though, but for the price, I couldn't resist. Future State Superman versus Imperius Lex 3, a David Nakayama cover. That one's awesome. I wonder... Oh, that's backwards. Uh, Future State Wonder Woman 84. That's a cute cover. Wonder Woman 84, Future State, Next Batman number one, a J. Scott Campbell cover. Oh, and Sabine Rich colored it. I love that. That's cool. I'm always drawn to his artwork when Sabine colors it. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn number 72. That is fun. Oh, another brick I got open. All right, we got Future State number one, Jen Bartel cover. That is fun. Ooh, Art Germ, Future State Catwoman number one. That's a gorgeous cover. Uh, the Flash number 766 Lee and Hugh cover. Love that beautiful cover. Another Lee and Hugh Flash cover. That one's gorgeous too. I love his artwork. Oh, hey, let's flip that around. Oh, another cover of his. So he did a whole bunch of the Flash covers. Wow. For like a buck or whatever I paid. Oh, I got two of those by mistake. <laughs> These. Oh, I got two of those by mistake. <laughs> I don't mind though, because I feel like if I put it out at cover price for four bucks, I'll be able to sell it. So I actually make a profit on it. That wasn't really the purpose, though. I was just trying to grab everything I wanted, and it kept freezing up, so I did end up getting duplicates of things. Uh, Plan of the Symbiotes, number two. That's an awesome cover. Scream, number one. Oh, that's a beautiful Lee and Hugh cover. Oops, excellent. Got a couple of those. Gorgeous cover, though. Uh, Scream, number... Don't see the number. Cool cover, though. I really like that. Oh, I gotta flip these around. Uh, oh, Lumberjanes number 73. I didn't have that issue yet. That is cool. Lois Lane number 10. And it's got some kind of stainage going on there. That's kind of... What the heck is that? Someone cut themselves? Is that blood? I don't know. All right. That's a little disturbing. <laughs> uh, Legion of Superheroes number 10. That's a cool cover. First Kiss number 10. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, oh, one more bundle. Okay, we have a Ghost Rider number one, Jen Bartel cover. That's beautiful. Oops, got a couple of those by mistake. Uh, Kazar, Lord of the Spaceland number one, Peach Momoko cover. That's beautiful. Love that. Uh, Justice League Dark number 26. That's a beautiful cover. And oh, we gotta flip those around. Iron Man number seven, a beautiful Jen Bartel, Patsy Walker cover. Love that. Oops, grabbed a couple of those. Uh, Justice League 51, that's a fun cover. I love that, just like a cartoony version. And Justice League number 26. Okay, I think there's one more brick of comics in here. Okay, yeah, big brick and then a small brick. Okay. Okay. It looks like we have a beautiful silk cover there. Okay. We have silk number one. Beautiful cover. Uh, Silk number one, Scotty Young cover. That's gorgeous. Love that. Sleeping Beauties number two. I just thought the cover looked really nice. Uh, Spider Woman number five, Art Drum cover. That is awesome. Spider Woman by Night number five. That's a fun cover. Oh, these are all backwards. Uh, Spider Woman number nine. That's a fun cover. I do like that there's a little, you know, action figures on the table there. Uh, Spider Woman number 100. Spider Woman number 100. A different variant. Spider Woman number five. These are all fun. Uh, Spider Woman number five. I think that's a Peach Momoko cover. That is awesome. Love that. Okay, another brick open. Okay, we have Silk number one, a beautiful Jen Bartel cover. I absolutely love this cover. I think the way she drew Silk is very cute. And I just love that it looks painted. It looks, you know, artistic. Uh, Silk number one. Love this cover. Awesome cover. Savage Avengers number 19. I love the black, white, and red look. Uh, Reaver number 11. I thought that was just a really awesome looking cover. Absolutely love it. What if the interior is as nice? Oh, the interior is pretty nice too. That is cool. I'll have to look into that series some more. Uh, Punchline number one. A Frank Cho cover. Love that one. Oh, I gotta flip these. Ooh, New Mutants number 13. Another Peach Momoko cover. This is cool. I'm excited that I got so many Peach Momoko covers for relatively cheap. Uh, Nomen Omen number six. I just thought that was a beautiful cover. Power Rangers Unlimited number one. Uh, is 
I don't know if it's a Lee and Yuk cover. It's a gorgeous cover though. Okay, let me open that. Okay, we have Marvel Zombies Resurrection number three. That's a cool cover. Uh, Mercy number two, a fun cover. Mercy number four, another fun cover. For a dollar or a dollar twenty or whatever I paid, that's great for that series. Uh, Money Shot number eight. Money Shot number six. Mercy number six. Another Mercy number six, different variant. Mercy number four. I did want to put this series together, so it's fun to get a bunch of those for cheap. All right, let me open this up. Okay, we have the Marked number eight. I think this has a really nice interior artwork. Yeah, the interior of this series is gorgeous. It's like better than the cover. Like, I feel like there's a better artist doing the interior than the cover on this, which is weird. <laughs> like that cover is okay, but the interior is awesome. Uh, porcelain, I'm not sure the number, but it's a Sabine Rich cover. Yeah, that's a fun cover. I love Sabine Rich. Uh, Eros Psyche number five, another awesome Sabine Rich cover. Eros Psyche number four, another Sabine Rich cover. Eros Psyche number two, Sabine Rich. Love those. Love her artwork. Uh, Lumberjanes number 74. Do you want to finish that series up? Uh, Miss Marvel Outlawed number 14. The Magnificent Miss Marvel number 15. These are cool. I do need to get more of her issues. I feel like everything is going through the roof and I don't know what I'm still missing. All right, Eros Psyche. Not sure the number, but it's being rich, so I had to have that. Okay, let me open that up. Dang. Okay, we have Harley Quinn number 75. I'll pick up any Harley Quinn for a dollar. Harley Quinn 75, a uh, Frank Cho cover. I'll pick up any Frank Cho cover for a dollar. Horizon Zero Dawn number three. Awesome Peach Momoko cover. Really like that one. Oh, that's awesome. Happy to have that. Oh, I got to flip these. Uh, the Mortal Hulk 44, another one of these, you know, tri-color or one color with black and white. Love that. Uh, let's see. Infinite Frontier number zero. Beautiful cover. Not sure the artist, but beautiful. Uh, House of Whispers number 20. I don't remember ordering this one. I mean, it's a cool looking cover, but I don't really remember why I ordered that one. Uh, and then Horizon Zero Dawn number four, another beautiful Peach Momoko cover. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Wow, I love her artwork so much. And then, uh, okay, and then we have one more bundle from this box. And this is like a larger size issue, which is, uh, we got Wonder Woman, Dead Earth. I gotta make some room for this. All right, issue number four, Daniel Warren Johnson. I love his artwork. And uh, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey number three. That's fun. And these are like two bucks a piece, something like that. So really happy with those. Okay, wow. That was a fun online like dollar bin or dollar 50 bin haul. That was so much fun. All right, let's go through this bag of comic books. I don't know when I bought these. I, I don't remember anything about them. My wife found them in a random pile while cleaning up the kitchen. So somehow I had them in my kitchen. <laughs> that shows you how many comic books I buy. But it looked like there's actually some kind of fun stuff. So let's dig through this bag and see what's inside. So yeah, this is a stack of comic books. I don't remember when I bought them. I don't know why I paid for them. I don't, they've just been hidden in my kitchen probably for months or years even. But it looked like there's some fun stuff. We have Justice League of America 183. And 184, both are in pretty decent shape. Awesome looking comic books. A uh, Contest of Champions 1, Detective 526. This is one of the golden ink issues that came out around the same time that the ink is always kind of sticky. It's kind of weird to me. Uh, Secret Files and Origins, number one. Detective Comics 853, uh, 686. Harley's Little Black Book, number four. Amanda Connor cover. Harley's Little Black Book number three, another Amanda Connor cover. I like those. Harley Quinn number one. Uh, Lady Death number one, the Cruel Edition. Betty and Veronica number one. Do love the series. I think there's some great covers on that. Battlestar Galactica number one. That's cool. And number zero. A Lisner Vampirella cover. That is kind of neat. And Vampirella number two. Betty 110. You know what? I believe I might have bought these for my friend Sean a long time ago. Veronica 112. Because I know for a while there he was picking up Archie stuff when he saw it for me, kind of. 
uh, Archie 526. That's cool. Daredevil Chronicles. Daredevil 227. Daredevil 190. I love this era. Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil 160. Awesome. Daredevil 161. That's an awesome cover. Daredevil 185. Daredevil 188. Daredevil 231. Daredevil 229. Archie's Joke Book 213. Marvel feature number seven, an awesome Red Sonia cover with Conan. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man annual number 22, first appearance of Speedball. A little bit yellowed, but that's all right. And then uh, Drama number one, another Lisner cover. Gorgeous cover. So yeah, that was a fun little bag of stuff. All right, let's go through this box. It's only about half full. It's a bunch of comic books I just bought for my friend Sean. Uh, just some really awesome stuff. Let's dig through this box and see what's inside. So I edited this box a little bit. I just pulled out the stuff I thought was the most interesting. Just because there was a lot of just cheaper stuff. I don't want to go through all cheaper stuff. I want to go through stuff that I'm excited to go through. We have the Savage Dragon 140. Elvira House of Mystery number 7. That's a fun cover. Uh, G.I. Joe 39. Always need G.I. Joe. Angel Illyria, I guess. It's a Jenny Friesen cover. That is super cool. Teen Titans Academy number 3. I just liked it because Peacemaker was on the cover. Taskmaster number five. I do like Taskmaster. Exo Man of War number 47. That is cool. Another one of these angel books with a Jenny Friesen cover. That is really neat. Moon Knight number two of four. Another one of these Jenny Friesen covers. This is, I think, earlier work of hers. Ecstatic number 15. A cool Michael Arwood cover. Always love his artwork. Noctura number three. Noctura number two. Uh, Dennis the Menace Sports Special. In pretty decent shape. Probably like a very good plus. I like getting the older stuff in decent shape. Uh, we have a nice Godzilla. Godzilla number 16. Vampirella and Painkiller Jane. Captain America the Mortal variant. Metal Man number 42. Speed Metal. It's a fun cover. Uh, Swamp Thing number 60. I always love this cover. That was a cool cover. Uh, we have Convergence Harley Quinn number two. Incredible Hulk 104, Planet Hulk issue. Incredible Hulk 96. Planet Hulk number 99. Uh, Vampirella Deja Thoris number five. Action Comics 104, fun foil cover. Blade Runner Origins number one, an art drum cover. That's cool. Always like art drum. Star Wars 18. I need to figure out what Star Wars issues I still need. Because I know there's a lot of key issues that just keep exploding in price. So I kind of want to work on my Star Wars sets a bit. Uh, Vision Director's Cut number two. Vision Director's Cut number three. Captain America Iron Man number four. That's a cool cover. Uh, okay, and then we have She-Hulk 56. Venom 21. Venom 23. Venom 22. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 20. All-Star Batman number 7. The Superman Leviathan Rising number 1. Champion Sports number 3. I do like the old Bronze Age stuff. Archie's Madhouse Annual number 5. Really like that cover. I thought that was cool. Godzilla 14. Can't go wrong with Godzilla. Uh, three Jokers book 3. That is neat. A Del 4 Color 669 Robin Hood. I need to put in a new bag. He... I think he finds this stuff in dollar bins just for me specifically. <laughs> so he knows all like that old cartoon stuff. Uh, Ghost of Dr. Graves, number 38. That one is neat. Star Wars, number 72. Again, you can't go wrong with Star Wars. Uh, Lady Mechanica, number one. Cool cover. Daredevil, number 21. Bad shape, but he picked up for a dollar. He's like, yeah, why not? I mean, he's still a you know Silver Age Daredevil. Savage Dragon, 250. Venom, number three. Uncanny X-Men number 7, the Bishop variant, I guess. Iron Man number 46. It's in decent shape, but it's got that blue splatter when they ink the edge. Uh, Infinity Part 1 of 6. I think this one has a bit of value to it. It's a variant cover. Uh, XL Man of War number 38. XL Man of War number 48. So I guess, no, that's 38. That's 48. Uh, Spawn 309 is the second printing mill. A Serenity issue. I don't know the issue, but that was a cool Virgin variant. Vader Castle number five. That one's pretty neat. Uh, this one is gorgeous. We have Daredevil number 12. It's probably like a 6.5 or a 7. 
maybe even a little higher because I don't see any like spine ticks or marks. And the whites are pretty white, just slightly off white. Wow, I love seeing this old stuff. He he tells me, you know, he peppers it in every once in a while. Just, you know, he knows I get really excited to see this kind of stuff. So, wow, I'm so excited to add that to my collection. We have a Power Rangers Virgin variant. That's foil. That's very neat. And Captain America number 116. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun stuff there. All right, let's dig through this box. Ooh, that's heavy. It's a box of comic books I bought from one of my local comic shops called Desert Island. I bought them last summer, I think, or last fall. They were having a 50% off of cover price of all their recent releases. And the cool thing is he had a lot of stuff that was left over from before the pandemic. So there's actually some key issues and some things that were pretty cool to pick up. It was a lot of fun digging through the comic books and I got a lot of cool stuff. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, so this was just over a short box, like a short box and a half of comic books I bought from Desert Island last year. Uh, they had basically everything was 50% off in their recent issue bins. So I just, I went a little crazy. I bought a lot of cool stuff that I just, if I like the cover and it's $2 instead of 4 I'm going to grab it. Because, I mean, look how cute but gruesome this cover is. Pretty Violent, number one. Uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number 46. So that would have been $2 for that one. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, annual number three. So this is a half price. So that one was like a dollar. Conan the Barbarian, number 73, was a dollar. Rocket Raccoon, number one. David Nakayama cover. Uh, $2 for that one. Beautiful cover. I absolutely love that one. The dollar bin was a half off. It was just a dollar. We have Clean Room number 7, a Jenny Friesen cover. I love all the covers on that series. Uh, clean Room number 9 for a dollar. Clean Room number 18 for a dollar. All Jenny Friesen. Uh, the Spirit number 7, a Darwin Cook cover. Awesome, adorable cover. That one was a buck. Uh, Marvel Chillers featuring Tigra number 5 was a dollar. Marvel Chillers featuring Tiger number four was a dollar. Nailbiter number 16 was a dollar. Medic three was, uh, don't know if it was a dollar. It might have been a dollar 25. I thought it had a beautiful cover though. Uh, Royal City number three for a dollar. I'm picking up any Jeff Lemire stuff I find for a dollar because why not? Picking up any Jenny Friesen stuff I can find for a dollar. <laughs> so Revival number 43 for a dollar. Clean Room number 13 for a dollar. A uh, Pretty Violent number two for two dollars. Again, adorable, cute, and gruesome at the same time. Kind of love that. Uh, Prophet Earth War number five for two bucks. I just thought it was a really nice cover. Let's see what's next. We got Call the Destroyer number 12 in pretty decent high grade for a dollar. A Dr. Afro number eight for a dollar. I thought that had a cool cover. Amazing Adventures War of the Worlds number 36 for a dollar. Amazing Forest, number one for a dollar. I thought that had really cool artwork. Uh, Rat Queens, number three for a dollar. I thought that was pretty awesome. Cerebus, number 139. I always say if it's a dollar, it's Cerebus. I'm going to buy it. I really have to figure out what I need, though, because I keep buying them. <laughs> Cerebus, 129 for a dollar. That's an awesome comic book. Revival, number 46 for a dollar. Another Jenny Friesen. So many Jenny Friesen covers for a dollar. These are cool. A Revival, number 47 for a dollar. Revival number 36 for a dollar. Revival number 42 for a dollar. That cover's really beautiful. I'm really happy with those for a buck. Okay, we've got another stack here. We have Clean Room number 6 for a dollar. That one's awesome. Deadly Class number 26 for a dollar. Deadly Class number 40 for a dollar. Deadly Class number 21 for a dollar. Curse Words number 15 for a dollar. Number 16 for a dollar. I do like this really fun image stuff. I'll pick up all kinds of image stuff for a dollar. Curse words, number 17 for a dollar. Uh, was it just a swimsuit special for a dollar? The Humans, number 10 for a dollar. Invader Zim, number 40 for a dollar. That's cool. Number 41 for a dollar. Right, let me clear these out. Okay, another stack here. Gorgeous Conan, number 63 in pretty decent shape for a dollar. Because it was half that. A Conan 56 for a dollar. Conan 61 for a dollar. I'll, I'll pick up any Conan under 100 for a dollar any day. As long as it's in decent shape. Just because I love Conan. And I might need it because I know I still need some for my run. And if I do have it, I know I could probably get 2 or $3 out of them. So a dollar is not a bad price. A Conan 72 for a dollar. Alright. Ascender number 5. This would have been half price. So this would have been $2 I think. 
Batgirl number 45. Beautiful cover. I think, yeah, it's a Babs Tar cover for uh, $1.50. That is awesome. Uh, number 47 for $1.50. Another beautiful Babs Tar cover. Love that. Steven Universe number 36 for $2. Happy with that. Uh, Batman vs. the Ninja Turtles number 4 for 2 bucks. That's a great price on that. Uh, Monstrous number 15 for 2 bucks. Monstrous number 14 for 2 bucks. These have beautiful covers. Monstrous number 16 for 2 bucks. Monstrous number 18 for $2. Um, Fantastic Four Grand Design Ed Piscar cover, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful comic book. 2 bucks for that. No. $3 for that because it's a $6 cover. I'd pick that up anything. I was actually editing the video from the Queen's Comic Party. And I saw some Ed Piscar stuff in Anthony's dollar bin. I should have grabbed that. I need to dig through his dollar bin the next time I see him. I wasn't really thinking about it. All right, Doom Patrol number three. That's cool. I want to get all the Doom Patrol stuff. That was a dollar. Amazing Forest number five for a dollar. I like that cover a lot. Clean Room number 12 for a dollar. That is cool. Clean Room number 10 for a dollar. Rat Queens number 11 for a dollar. So lots of really good dollar stuff. Um, Marvel Chillers number six for a dollar. Revival number 14 for a dollar. Revival number 17 for a dollar. Number nine for a dollar. Number 36 for a dollar. I think that was a repeat. Uh, Army of Darkness number three for a dollar. That's cool. Army of Darkness number four for a dollar. That's cool as well. A lot of comics in this box. Okay, we got Eclipse number 12. Really cool looking post-apocalyptic cover. That's a dollar. Uh, Fight Club 3, number 4. for uh, That would have been half cover. So $2 on that. Number 9 was 2 bucks. These are cool. Number 1 was 2 bucks. I think these all have a little bit of value. Number 4 for 2 bucks. Number 2 for 2 bucks. Uh, let's see. Rock Steady and Bebop Hit the Road. Number 5 for 2 bucks. That is cool. Invincible Universe number nine. Really like that cover. That was a dollar fifty. Uh, Eclipse number four for a dollar. Amazing Forest number six for a dollar. I like all the covers on that series. Uh, Superman number twenty two. This is um. Oh, I forget his name, but I always buy his artwork. I see. Oh wait, I gotta look it up. Kenneth, I think Kenneth Rockforth. I forget his name. It doesn't. It, it's a name that I have a hard time having to stick in my head. But every time I see his artwork, I recognize it and I buy it because I love it. Um, that's just the way my brain... My brain is great with images. It's bad with remembering names. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, number three. Gorgeous cover. Uh, three, the B cover. Yeah, these are all $2. For $2, I'd buy all these up. These are awesome. Number four for two bucks. Uh, Superman. Oh, there. Yeah, it's Kenneth Rockefort. So I was right. That's what was that what I said? Kenneth Rockefort. Love is art. That was a dollar fifty. And at that time, I was like, if I see any in a dollar bin, I'm gonna grab whatever he's done. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady number four for two bucks. Number five for two bucks. Curse words number. Oh, the swimsuit special for a dollar. Right, okay. Uh, this one is cool. We have a Spider-Gwen Black Panther variant. This one, I think, has some value now. Not 100% sure. But I paid two bucks. Happy with that. Sonic the Hedgehog, Tangle and Whisper, number four for two bucks. Snot Girl, number 15 for, I think, two dollars. Snot Girl, number eight for a couple bucks. Snot Girl, number seven for two dollars. Snot Girl, number ten for two bucks. Daniel Warren Johnson's Extremity, number five for two bucks. Love his artwork. It's so much fun. Uh, Extremity number three for two bucks. Happy with that. Number one for two bucks. I just picked up the gold cover from the Queen's Comic Party. Number two for two bucks. Doom Patrol number one. That's a great cover. Really like that cover. Elephant Man number 79 for two dollars. Always like the series. I like the art on it. Uh, Doom Patrol Justice League of America number one. That's a fun cover. That one was uh, ooh, 250 Eclipse number 13 for a dollar. Another like post apocalyptic scene. Great cover. Those are great. Okay, what do we got? We got Vader Zim number 46 for $2. Number 27 for 2 bucks. Number 43 for $2. Number 27 for $2. Oh, I got duplicates on that by mistake. Uh, number 26 for 2 bucks. The Jetsons number 4. That's really cool. It's Amanda Connor cover. It's like 
You know, the differences are futuristic, but this is actual futuristic looking, not like cartoony futuristic. That one's fun. I really like that. Ooh, okay. Jam and the Misfits. This is a beautiful cover. Love that one. Number one. Okay, Jam and the Misfits, number three. Another beautiful cover. Number three. Those so those would be two dollars each. Another fight club, number six for two bucks. Invincible, number one forty one for two dollars. Uh more Conan goodness, number fifty one for buck. A Punisher 218. I think this is the first appearance of the War Machine Punisher. So that for two dollars is a great price. Uh Punisher 221 for two bucks. Continue that series. Spider-Man Velocity number one for two bucks. I do like that series. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh Grass Kings number one. I just really like the cover. I thought that was a great cover. Black Panther Marvel Action number one for two bucks. Uh, I Hate Fairyland, number 14 for two bucks. Wonder Woman 47, great David Finch cover for a couple bucks. Dr. Manhattan, number three for two dollars, two dollars. Uh, Star Wars Han Solo, Imperial Cadet, awesome David Nakayama cover for two bucks. Really happy to get that. Another awesome David Nakayama cover for two bucks. Glad to get that one too. Another Fight Club for two bucks. Those are great. Uh, Kenneth Rockefort again. Superman, number 15, awesome cover. Uh, another awesome David Finch cover, Wonder Woman 49 for two bucks. Uh, Tokyo Ghost number seven for a couple bucks. Number 10 for two dollars. Another Kenneth Rockefeller, I believe. Commandy Challenge number two. That's an awesome cover. Love that one. Tokyo Ghost number seven. Number nine. So these are all two dollars as well. Vader Sim number 45 for two bucks. So yeah, a lot of really cool stuff and they're all in decent shape. To me, this is more exciting than a dollar bin because it's a lot of newer, cool stuff that I just don't have yet. I get more excited to see things like this. And a lot of it is expensive. A lot of it's more than cover price. All right, another stack. Okay, we have uh, Betty and Veronica number one, a variant. It's the Adam Hughes storyline. So I think he did the interior artwork. Let me double check this. I like the cover though. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, yeah, I think he did all the interior comics. So if you like Adam Hughes, how often do you see a comic book where he does everything? You know, the whole issue. That is really cool. I think undervalued series, honestly. And that was two bucks. Okay, we have Betty Page number one, a beautiful cover. Uh, Betty Page number one, a variant. Adorable cover. Monstrous number seven. So yeah, these are all two dollars, I believe. Invincible Universe number twelve, a dollar fifty. Ascender number six. That cover is awesome. Two bucks. Uh, number seven was two dollars. Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons number two. That is cool. Really happy with that. Uh, Monstrous number eight. Uh, Jughead: The Hunger versus Vampironica number four. Awesome Archie Horror cover. Two bucks in that. Uh, Commandy Challenge number four, a really cool Paul Pope cover. For two bucks, I had to have that. Uh, Magnus number one, I guess it's Magnus Robot Fighter, but like a female version. I wasn't sure what this was, but I picked it up for, I guess it was two dollars, either two dollars or a dollar fifty. I don't know. That was cool. Uh, Iceman number three with the Spider Man and his amazing friends. Well, I mean, it's, that's what it's based on, the cartoon, but it's Iceman and his amazing friends. That is really neat. I love when they bring stuff back from my childhood and do comics like that. That's super cool. Uh, I don't know. That's an amazing cover. I'm not sure what comic. I got to look to see what comic that is. Uh, is, it, is it Curse Words? Uh, no, it's Things Remote Part 4. Uh, no, it's Rumble Number 9. Who's the artist? I'm not so familiar with the artist, but looking inside, this is just like an epic monster battle. Yeah, this artwork is cool. I love picking up a comic book like this that I'm not aware of. And when I look inside, the artwork is just so much fun. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. I want to read that now. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Awesome purchase for two bucks. Lots of joy in that. That is amazing. Okay, we have... Great Lakes Avenger number three. This is a early Squirrel Girl appearance. I think, uh, I know her second appearance is this series. I don't know if it's number one or number two, but I figured I'd grab that. That was $1.50. Uh, and then number four. So she's also in that. 
then the Great Lake Avengers Xmas special. This one, I think, predates these. I'm not sure. So this might be her second appearance. And then number one of this series is her first. Not 100% sure. I know these are just early appearances of hers. So I just grabbed these. Number two and number one. So I think Squirrel Girl one day will be popular. She'll be in something. And these will shoot up in value. Uh, Shemini number six. Another really awesome Daniel Warren Johnson cover. I love that. A uh, Fight Club three, number seven. The Four Evers, number one. I just thought that was a cool looking cover. Uh, the Goon, number one. The Was it the 20th anniversary one? Star Wars Han Solo, Imperial Cadet, number one. David Nakayama cover. That is awesome. Love that. Okay, let me move these. Okay, another stack. We got Death or Glory, number five. I thought that was a cool looking cover. Death or Glory, number three. Also like that cover. I like the covers on those. Uh, Descender, number eight. Gorgeous cover. Descender, number 12. I need to finish putting the set together because I love all the covers. Uh, December, number 13. Infinity Wars, number one. Beautiful. I think, yeah, Arth no. Um, I forget the artist. It always confuses him with Arthur Adams because he has a similar style. But I thought that was gorgeous. And that one was uh international i forgot he probably just gave it to me for like two or three bucks just oh and it has that looks you know, like michael arwood artwork in there i think yeah that, oh that's gorgeous oh this is cool yeah so that's a foreign edition i just thought that was really neat uh black hawk number two and two so he would give that to me for 250 black hammer number 10 for two dollars Ascender number four for a couple of bucks. Number nine for a couple of bucks. These are gorgeous. Number eight for a couple of bucks. Uh, Miss Marvel number 30. I need to catch up and find all the Miss Marvels that I don't have because I feel like all her issues are going up and I'm going to be really agitated for the ones I'm missing. Uh, Billy the Kid number 134. I think that was $1.50. And Betty and Veronica number one. Another one of those Adam Hughes issues but with a different cover, different artist. That is gorgeous. Two bucks for that. Okay, really happy with those. Okay, and then final stack from that box. We have die number 10. I would like to finish playing this series together too because they have really cool covers. Uh, Archie meets Batman 66, number four with a really awesome Michael Arwood cover. That one I had to have. It's like Archie is Robin. That is cool. I love that. Uh, Futurama number 80. I did not have that issue, so I was really happy to get that. Uh, Amethyst number one. This is, uh, I don't know if it's number one or like the annual. Invader Zim number 24. Invader Zim number 47. Black Cat number 6. J. Scott Campbell cover. That is cool. Black Hammer number 10. Really cool Muck Monster. Uh, Black Hammer number 6. Really like that cover. That is cool. Uh, Black Hammer number 6. So two different variants of that. All right, we have Black number 3. This is the uncensored cover so this is a story about a world where only black people have superpowers it's a very interesting story but you know some people might be offended by that um this is uh the censored version i guess though both of those are kind of rare and expensive a uh, black number three no black number six yeah i do want to put the whole series together so i can read it a uh, death or glory number three that is a cool cover and that's everything awesome all right, let's dig through this bag of just a couple of comic books that my son White picked up for me after school one day <laughs> from my local comic shop, Action City Comic Books. Love that shop. All right, let's go through this bag. Okay, so I think uh, my local comic shop owner, Eric, he helped my wife pick these out because he was like, oh yeah, Sean's going to want this. <laughs> so we have the David Nakayama Gwen variant. That is super cool. Happy that I got that. And Saga number 56, really wanted that. And, oh, and that was just the free Captain America previews book that came out a couple weeks ago. So yeah, that was super cool. It was It's fun when my wife and my son bring me some comic books. <laughs> All right, I have another Things from Another World box. It was 29 comic books. I paid $141. It was just a bunch of stuff that I decided that I wanted and they had decent prices on all of it. So I placed the order. All right, let's dig through the box and see what's inside. All right, so that's what that box looks like inside. I believe it's a lot of comic books of artists that I'm currently collecting and just stuff that I thought had reasonable pricing. So it's a brick that they papered inside. 
which honestly, uh, a package like this is super exciting for me because it's stuff that I would really want. You know, it's not just like I found something cool in a dollar bin, but stuff that I picked out. So we have a really amazing, amazing Spider-Man Peach Momoko cover. This one's gorgeous. So number 78. Uh, oh, maybe let me check the pricing. So that one was $4. Okay, and then we have uh, Batgirls number one, the Lee and Hugh variant. That one is beautiful. I love that one. That one was $4. We have Batgirls number one, the other Lee and Hugh cover. I believe these are connecting. Yeah, those connect. Gorgeous cover. That one was also $4. Very happy with that. That is cool. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, Batman 89, number four, a Bab Tar cover. That one's gorgeous. That one was $4. I love Bab Tar's artwork. I think it's just really fun and cute. Uh, Captain Marvel, number 30, a Peach Momoko cover. Uh, I kind of feel like I might have bought this already. <laughs> no, but I think it's different, actually, than the one I'm thinking about. That one was $4. You know, for the cover price for a Peach Momoko comic is one I want. I do want to get all the covers, but she's putting out so many, it's hard to keep up. Uh, Captain Marvel number 32, a beautiful David Nakayama cover. Love it, especially with the little cat. Wow, that is awesome. So that one was $6. Uh, no, I accidentally bought two, apparently. I don't know how I did that. It says two. It says six thirty-eight. So it might have been like $3 and something cents each. Although this one looks like it got dinged in shipping it looks like a few of them got dinged in shipping oh man i just noticed that oh that's a bummer it's all right i paid cheap on all this stuff though so i just it's bound to happen but yeah this whole corner looks kind of rough although you know maybe they're not hidden maybe just the board actually the comics themselves might be all right okay so we have crime syndicate number three yeah paid four dollars for that another babs tar cover love that beautiful cover a uh, Demon Days, Chris Webb, number one, a Peach Momoko cover. That one was four bucks. Yeah, oh, that one. Uh, that one does look like the corner got dung. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, we have Excalibur, number 25. That's a beautiful cover. Really awesome Peach Momoko cover. I paid $3.19 for that. And it looks like the dent was just on the board and not the comic. So that's okay. Uh, Harley Quinn, the animated series. The Eat, Bang, Kill Tour, number two. I think that's a Babs Tar cover. Yeah, that one was four bucks. It is Babs Tar. Gorgeous cover. I love that. Again, it looks like the ding didn't really hit the comic book, so we're okay. That's why it's kind of nice to have bags and boards that are a little bit bigger than your comic book, just so that it takes the impact and doesn't hit the comic. Wow, look at that cover. So it's just a really cute and beautiful at the same time Hulk number one Peach Momoko cover. Oh, I didn't realize I ordered that. that or actually, I don't remember seeing this. This is beautiful. So that one was $4. Inferno number one, another Peach Momoko cover. That one is gorgeous. That one was $4.79. That one does look like it took a bit of a hit on the corner, which sucks. But for $4, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Inferno number four, another Peach Momoko cover. Gorgeous. That one was $4.79. The Eros Psyche number, not sure the number, but the Sabine Rich cover. Does look like it got a little bit of a ding right there. And uh, that one I paid $3 for. We have the Murray Lovett Porcelain number, uh, not sure the number, but the Sabine Rich cover. I knew I had to have that. I like it because it kind of reminds me of like a 1970s cover a little bit, but with a modern flair to it. All right, so it says here there's one that I paid $3, one that I paid $12, and one I paid $15. So I'm not sure which one is which. Uh, okay, so that's number five of the series. And this one uh, it says I paid $15 for it. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like some of these were cheaper ones and some of these... Oh, yeah, these are the cheaper ones. These two I paid $3 each for. This one might have been more. Not 100% sure. <laughs> I got I, The invoice is kind of... You know, it doesn't give me enough detail, so I'm a little bit confused. Uh, Sweet Paprika number one. It's a beautiful Peach Momoko cover, but it looks like there's like a lot of ink transfer on it. Wow, that one, that looks low grade. What the heck? That one I paid $3 for. I'm going to have to try to get another copy or see if like some Absorberine will take that ink off. That's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, ooh, this one's beautiful. I love this one. So we have a Miss Marvel Peach Momoko cover. 
Wow, that is cool. I love Miss Marvel. So that one I paid three dollars for. That one's in good shape. Uh, okay, we have New Mutants number twenty-four. Another beautiful Peach Maloko cover. That one was three dollars and nineteen cents. Star Wars: The High Republic number eleven. Absolutely love this cover. This is one of my favorite covers from last year. Uh, that one was three dollars and nineteen cents. That one, I think this one will have value long term just because it's so beautiful. Uh, Stormbreakers. What number is this? I think this is a number one. I paid three dollars and nineteen cents. That is beautiful. Uh, Venom number one, Peach Momoko cover. That is cool. That one was four dollars and seventy nine cents. And then we have the Trial of Magneto number three, another beautiful Peach Momoko cover. Love that one. That one was three dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, Silver Surfer Rebirth number one, a Peach Momoko cover, gorgeous cover. Now that's three dollars and nineteen cents. Okay. And then we have... Oh, this is a thick one. Ooh, we have the Amazing Spider-Man number 74, Peach Momoko cover. It's like a big, thick issue. That is cool. I love that cover. That one was... Uh, that one was $8. Or $7.99. So $2 under cover price. Uh, okay, we have... This is, I think, one of the more expensive ones. This is a homage to X-Men... Uh, was it? 151? I think around there. Love this. I love the original cover, but I love the Sabine Rich version of it. So this is one that I might have paid more for. I know one of these I paid 12 and one of these I paid 15. Just because it's like a rare variant. But I love her artwork so I wanted that. And then we have another. So again, one of these was 12 and one of these was 15. Awesome Sabine Rich cover. Love that. Oh, Batgirls number one, Babs Tar cover. That one is adorable. I love that cover. Yeah, I need to get more Babs Tar artwork. You know, I got to get more of all these artists. I love, you know, Sabine Rich, Babs Tar, David Nakayama. Although I don't think I got any of his Peach Momoko. Awesome, awesome lot of stuff. I am so happy with all of that. Although I'm not happy with the few that got dinged on the corner and the one that was had a lot of ink transfer. But overall, price is good. I'm happy with those. Last week, Eric Williams left a comment on all my videos. I'd love to see if you have any heavy metal magazines or your older horror magazines. That's what I collect. Love the videos. Keep up the fun stuff. I mean, I do love heavy metal magazines. They're really fun to collect. I love the artwork. Then the day before that comment, someone with a Korean name, I believe their name is Lee Sung Hyun. I might be translating that badly. Uh, they said, where's heavy metal magazines? So guess what? Since two people asked that question, I guess the universe said we should have some heavy metal magazines in this video. So a couple days ago, someone called up the shop and said they had a stack of heavy metal magazines. I think like 30 of them. And I said, yes, bring them in and I'll buy them. <laughs> All right, let's go through this box and see what's inside. I, uh, I would love to have a full set of these one day. It's definitely on my to-do list just because they have such great illustrations. I don't know how much I can look inside though because some of it is R-rated. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations inside. Lots of really great artists. So yeah, I love these things. So this is a Heavy Metal January 1994. That is really neat. Heavy Metal Horror Special. Uh, June 1997. Kind of want to just flip through all of them. Just like, how cool is that artwork? Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that's cool. Uh, March 2000. And, yeah. oh, again, more gorgeous artwork. Yeah, it's all, you know, sci-fi stuff and just it's really cool. A little bit of fantasy sometimes. These are beautiful. So this is uh, January 1995. Uh, now, none of these are, like, mint. Most of them are a little bit beat up. But that's okay. I'm just happy to have them for now because I do want a full set just so I can read them and enjoy the artwork. July 1994. Maybe eventually get, you know, much better condition ones just to have them. Then have kind of the more beat up ones for reading because they are beautiful. Uh, January 1993. All right, this issue I have to censor. I can't really look inside. Uh, November 1999. Yeah, beautiful artwork. This is gorgeous. Love that. Uh, September 1996. Yeah, honestly, I could just spend hours reading all these just because all the illustrations inside are beautifully done. Just painted, well illustrated. Yeah, I love that. Right, let's get another stack. Let's get that over. 
Okay, we have uh, Heavy Metal, May 1997. Take a quick look. More beautiful illustrations. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just drawn to read. And what I like to collect as well is sometimes they'll take a bunch of the stories from one artist and just put it into a hardbound book. Those I like to collect as well. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, like, look how awesome this artwork is. This is, can't look at that one. Yeah, that is great. Uh, okay, we have July 2001. This is just beautiful stuff inside. Yeah, I love that. Uh, July 2002. Like, I really just want to go through every single one of these. I've got to skip over the little bit naughty stuff. Skip over all right. <laughs> too much in that one. Uh, okay, we have September 1992. That looks like Mobius, I think. Yeah, that is awesome. Love that. Uh, heavy Metal, March 1996. More beautiful illustrations. Uh, heavy Metal, July 1996. This is the kind of stuff I was collecting a ton more of in the early 2000s. I love the illustrations. I love the artwork. It's different than you know, Marvel and DC. I got kind of bored of that kind of stuff. Uh, September 1991. Maybe some stuff you can't see. That sensor. January 1992. Oh, look at the illustrations on this page. That is awesome. Wow, I want to read that one. That one looks great. Okay, we have May 1998. Ah, that looks cool. Yeah, I'm just flipping through them real quick because I just got, want to get an idea what's inside. Uh, during 1999. Really awesome sci-fi oh. artwork. Got a sensor that. Age. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, heavy metal, September 1998. Okay. All right, that one's a little bit heavier on the R-rated content. Uh, September 1997. Oh yeah, this is just gorgeous. I love the artwork in these things. Uh, September 1994. Just really nicely illustrated and painted artwork. This is just this is above and beyond what you normally see from like Marvel and DC at the time. So this stuff, that's why I always love this stuff because it's just so gorgeous. Wait, what is that? That's uh, Jerry, nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, look at those pages. Like I just want to sit here reading Oops. all this. Just just by the way it all looks, it's beautiful. Okay, we have November nineteen ninety two. Let's see what we got. Some more old school looking artwork. Some cool painted stuff. I gotta pass. Just some epic space battle. That is cool. Uh, heavy metal fall special 1998. That's uh the print quality in that one didn't seem as nice. I don't know if they cut the budget for that year. <laughs> okay, November 1995. Oh, Minara, I like his artwork. It's beautiful. Yeah, just more gorgeous stuff. Uh, November 1998. Yeah, wow. That is gorgeous. Uh, November 1993. That issue is a bit more R-rated. Can't show on the inside. We got Heavy Metal, May 1999. Some more gorgeous pages. Beautiful artwork. Uh, Heavy Metal, 1999. That's a great cover. Some cool artwork inside. Yeah, that's a delight. That's beautiful. Uh, July, 1998. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, look at that page. It is great. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, January, 2000. I love Just it. the coloring and the painting and the line work. Wow, these are beautiful. Awesome illustrations. All right, that was a ton of fun. Let me know in the comments below what kind of comic content you want to see me add to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.